Hello, I am Christian and I will guide you through this video on qualitative constraints for human-aware robot navigation using velocity cost maps. Current navigation approaches deal quite well with static and dynamic obstacles. Humans, however, have to be treated differently to ensure their safety and comfort. To this end, we are using a Qualitative Trajectory Calculus, or QTC, to encode the relative two-dimensional movement of human and robot in relation to each other. QTC comes in many variants, of which we use QTC Basic, or QTCB, to encode moving towards, away, or keeping the same distance using the symbols minus, plus and zero. Using the same set of symbols, we encode moving to the left, right, or along the connecting line between the two agents using QTC double cross or QTC C. Let's have a look at a quick example of how QTC works. On the right we have our cheat sheet and in the top left we can see the movement we want to encode. Let's start by assuming our human and robot are at these positions at time T1. During the interval T1, T2, our human and robot will be moving like depicted in the top left. The human moves over here, which results in a minus for moving towards the robot and another minus for moving to the left. The robot, on the other hand, moves backwards, away from the human, resulting in a plus, and it moves along the connecting line, expressed by a zero. By simply ignoring the last two symbols, we turn this QTCC state into QTCB. Now that we have our description language, we need to transform these symbols into behavior. For this we introduce velocity cost maps that work in conjunction with the standard state-of-the-art dynamic window approach local planner. These cost maps restrict the velocity sample space of the planner to the areas shown, depending on the observed human behavior. For a pass-by interaction, we encode the following. When both agents are far apart, the robot is allowed to approach the human. After crossing a predefined or learned distance threshold, we switch from QTCB to QTCC and the robot initiates the avoidance by constraining the sample space of the planner to areas that only allow it to go towards and to the right of the human. When human and robots are shoulder to shoulder, the robot can only go straight. After passing each other, the robot's trajectory is corrected. To conclude the interaction, the robot is allowed to move away after passing the predefined distance threshold. We evaluated this approach in simulation, as you can see here, and on a real robot later on in the video. The yellow area around the robot visualizes the restricted area and the red dots visualize the sampled velocities. The blue areas are low-cost areas, increasing the magnitude of avoidance where possible by keeping the robot's trajectories to the center of the allowed area. As we have a look at another pass-by interaction, we can see that the robot assumes the states approach, avoid and correct as we previously defined in our set of rules. Shown here are the trajectories of 50 pass-by interactions in simulation. The color coding goes from blue via red to green to visualize the time displacement. On a real robot, the generated behavior looks like this. We also encoded a path crossing interaction using a very simple sequence of approach, wait and correct. Looking at the generated trajectories in simulation, we can see from the abrupt transition from green to red that the robot waited for the human to pass. The human trajectory is visualized by the black dashed line. And this is how it looked using a real robot. Future work will see the currently handcrafted rules replaced by a classification and prediction step using models of previously observed interactions to create a more flexible approach. Thank you very much for watching our video. Goodbye.